All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. You ready, big guy? Mm -hmm. Deep breath in, exhale. Oh, good job. I've been having some lower back problems. Okay. And usually, usually, like, you know how you bend down too much and then you get up with, like, the stiffness? Yes. Usually, like, okay, like, I can, like, tolerate that. And then I go home, then after you sleep and everything, you, it goes away because okay. you relax. But it's been going, I guess, just building it up slowly. Where's the most pain? One finger. The most pain is mostly the lower back here. The whole, sort of the whole small, the lower back down yeah. here, L4, L5. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes it's uh, like it travels up to the, the mid back. Okay. So those are just the areas. Sometimes I guess I'm stiff on the upper back too, but it's mostly the lower back. Just need a good cleaning in there. We'll clean yeah. all that out. Because okay. um, that one affected against my right leg. Because okay. this one, like um, the the calves just popped out more compared to my left my left leg my left calves. Okay. Does it feel tighter to you over here? The muscle feel tighter? This is this part right here like it's spasmed? It spasmed more out than um said like if I just try to push some pressure on it. Right. It would just feel like tighten up and I didn't really couldn't really walk that well. Okay. So it's what we're involving is the nerve. Mm -hmm. The nerve from your lower back that goes through that yeah. area goes to your uh, tibialis anterior, the muscle in here, and so this muscle is getting some level of pressure from yeah. the nerve, and so we have to try to divert some of that burden off your lower back. Mm -hmm. Okay, my like the ribs are rotated. This one, yeah, it feels like this is further back here compared Correct. to this one. Right. So what's happening is your your left hip is high, mm -hmm. and that's pushing your you're almost rotated. Your left yeah. rib is more forward. Mm -hmm. So even with avoidance, you're still in pain. Your mm -hmm. body's in. A position trying to get out of pain and you're still hurting. So let me have you on your back for me. Exhale. Keep exhaling. There we go. Deep breath in. Head back for me. Let it all go. There you go. Let it all go. Deep breath in. Let it all go. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Let's go on your side base of me. Exhale. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Other side for me. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Good, face up for me, very good. Face. The massage I use as a tool to speed up the process of loosening your body. Mm -hmm. um, if an area doesn't move properly, then we do some s deep tissue work to soften it so that we can uh, get it to move better and better between visits and the next visit, your back's moving even more yeah. properly. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna do go just massage it up here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I feel this lump right here. Yeah. Way too tight up here. Um, the more forward your head goes, the tighter your upper neck becomes. And so this tightness can only really go away by getting your posture changed. And and so most of chiropractic has become more of a dental hygienist and Part of what I teach, and we're gonna at the end of our visit, we'll show you how to stretch, so that your your body doesn't just keep reverting back to old habits of putting pressure in your lower back. Does that make sense? And, yeah. It does. And when waiting for pain to arrive, turn your head right. There we go. I got you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very good. Very good. You did good. There we go. Turn your left. Mm -hmm. Chin up for me. There you go. Very good. You okay? Yeah. You okay. All right. There we go. Good. Left. Very good. Is big on this side. This side's got a little lump on it, but the, the left side's the one with the larger. There we go. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a little comb with gua, called gua sha, just a way to speed up the mm -hmm. healing. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Keep you 
much as I guys, much as I can give you. <laughs> Just pour in. Yeah, right there. You have an old injury. I do. Well, that's what this is. Oh. The, the difference between the right and left. The right side doesn't have that. Feel that? Yeah. It's almost uh, right there. That's a tear. You've had a whiplash, or a brother kicked you, or. <laughs> well, I'm teasing, but you know, yeah. some some soccer injury, or who knows, something something happened, sports injury, or where that got injured, and then it healed, kind of crooked, it healed, tangled. Let me have you roll to your stomach and then shirt off for me. Yeah, the right side, a little bit higher. It'll become more evident as I work on you. But there we go, yeah, right there. It's like a placement test. I gotta figure out how tough you are and what you can handle. Yeah, this right here is what's glued Right there. There it is, right there. Might be one of those things that you go, Ed, I didn't notice it was there until you touched it. You know, right there. That's that's been trapped in there. Also I could feel my upper upper. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right there, yeah, another, another lump right there. Some deep knots in there, yeah, that's it. I grew up with a chiropractor as a father, so I had, you know, my dad, when I got injured, he would adjust me soon after. In America, generally, you get injured and then you heal stiff. Yeah. <laughs> feel that big, feel, feel this one's even bigger over here, feel that? Yeah. Wow. I can feel it. Wow. Wow, I mean, I, I thought this was bad over here until, like I said, this side's higher. Yeah, I'm not sure just, if you can. You just put a push on it. Can you feel that? I mean, can you yeah. see that? There's a huge. Internally, it's like a boulder. Yeah. And we'll untangle. It's okay. It just takes time. Yeah, I noticed something was wrong because my lower back had just kept hurting. Correct. I'm like, it's not normal, but I just kept ignoring right. it. Right. And this I guess is... until it just pulled up enough and it just like Correct. got tired. You got it. The lower back got fatigued from yeah. this area being so under, underperforming, underworking. This is one of those like 10 minutes later time lapse. <laughs> you know, just you gotta you gotta keep rubbing this to unglue it. I have to. Yep, this this is almost the whole visit right here. Whew. Wow. See if you don't if you don't pick up on this, you'll never figure out why that lower back is feeling that. It's, and that's why it's radiating up here, because you're actually starting to notice this. Which is a good thing, because it's at least moving a little bit. Yeah. You wouldn't feel it at all if it wasn't moving. All right, all right. Yes, yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. It's It's got to be... You've got to break down this blockade 
It's all on lockdown in here. Pretty sure it's been there for a while. Yes. Yeah. All right. You know, what's happening is that left rib can rise. This 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 can pivot forward because you're avoiding this right middle side. So this is all retracted. No, so I thought, I thought my left one was, was something wrong with it. Yes, it's because it's because the whole torso is rotated, but it's because you're trying to avoid my right one. That right, yeah. yes, which is causing a shift and a rotation. Okay, all right. I'm trying to like, yeah. blur it, but at the same time, there's just a never to it. Yes. You know, Dr. Ed, I love when you rub the left side of my back. It feels enjoyable and pleasant. It feels much better, it feels much better than the right. Right, yeah, perspectively, right. Try another angle on it. There we go. Wow. How old are you? 20? 20? 28. 28, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. This is my first time having a, like a, a treatment like this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta dissolve. As I draw on your back, you can see where the epicenter is. <laughs> so I've combed your back pretty evenly. Yeah. And you know, that's where the, it's like an internal cut. There it is. That was an internal wound in there. And then this stiffened down. And the area that's stiff feels wonderful because it's not going to want, it's not going to function. And it'll probably completely shut down and then leave your lower back paying all the debts. And that's what happens. It's, it just hands off all the pressure. Very good. There you go. So the area above and below are what we use to take the pressure off the lower back. Uh -huh. So the joint in your glute called the SI joint, sacroiliac joint, we need this joint looser. That's what we check when we were on your side. I was checking yeah. how loose this joint is. And the more mobility you have from your sacroiliac joint, the more pressure we take. So it's sort of almost in like an inverted treatment. I don't directly treat, you know, I, I joke, I, not Jesus. I, oh, I can't heal your lower back. You understand? I can't. Like, I can't lay my hands like a priest and heal you. I can divert pressure off of it. I can feel the pressure, though. It's right. Tender. Yeah. We're gonna remove the pressure and put it somewhere else. And then all the areas that I move the pressure to, 
are not going to like me very much. <laughs> you know, hey, we've been sitting on the sidelines watching this football game. Don't put us on the team. Don't put us on the field. Right there. Wow, that's a nice. Feel that lump right there? Yeah. Right there. Oh, man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. Think of it like a rod and a reel, like a fishing rod. <laughs> it all gets wound up right here on the iliac crest. Uh huh. And you gotta unwind that. Kind of gets spooled up on the crest, and so you're trying to unwind it to free up the lower back. Part of the vice grip that this creates is it creates a constant binding effect on the lower back. So. Releasing this, releasing this, freeze that up, and then we just mechanically, you have to start learning how to bend. Yeah. But this, it doesn't want to bend. I'm going to try to adjust it again in a minute. That's, okay. we're going to try to free that up. Exhale, yep, I know. Right there. Yeah, right there, yep. You're doing great. Whew. Could have fooled me that you've never been to a chiropractor. Okay. <laughs> doing great. Get this over with. Uh. Not the hamstrings. Not the ham. Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna feel the bones of the calves. I can tell you that. Right okay. Now. Okay. bit press back so press back with your elbow there you go there we go good there we go 
Yeah, press back right there. Uh, backwards. There you go. Good. There we go. I got you. Tilt your head to the left a little bit for me. There we go. Good. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it click. Yeah, yeah. Open this up a little bit. There we go. Tilt your head to the right for me. Or sorry, left for me. Oh, good. Oh, I got you. Tilt your head to the right for me a little bit. There we go. Good. Tilt a little bit for me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that could happen, did you? How's that feel? A little stinging is like burning a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. release. Yeah, everything's jammed. Wow. So this joint doesn't want to move. Like I don't need it to click, yeah. but it, it's just the joint's not actually feeling like it's moving. The tarsal and the metatarsal joint feel frozen. I got your leg. Uh-huh. See that one? That one moves. Good. There we go. Good. Good. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I work at a golf course. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Yeah, this is happening because of the lower back. Yeah. This muscle gets... Also, I to my thighs because back when... Um, I noticed in myself when the thighs, they have the same issue, like, right. it looks like it's um, popping out more, more compared to my right back one. Right. Uh, I have one that hurts right now. It feels like it's... Right. <laughs> Pressure. Yeah. Yeah. The attachment for these muscles, they all go up there. Breathe. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't hurt, it just makes you feel like I want to laugh, but at the same time, I'm trying to hold it in. <laughs> trying to laugh and cry and don't scream. <laughs> so, symptomatically, we have to fix the lower back, but just temporarily, we can help make this feel better by getting some blood in here, relieving some of the acidity that the muscles under a spasm. The worry would be about this right here. So the, the meniscus gets damaged, the tighter this gets, mm -hmm. this becomes like a vice grip and you know, clearing the lower back will prevent near knee problems. Having lower back problems causes tightness in here which then squeezes the knee. So, so it's, better to it's dealing with this before it gets to a yeah. knee problem, right? Very good.